did Shelley come through here? Yes, I did, look. She went upstairs. She seemed upset. I mean, whatever's happened? Oh, well, it's that Charlie who's upsetting her, isn't it? Look. Apparently, he's been buying Violet presents. See, customer service is very important in the motor industry. Front of house management, that's what it's all about. It's keeping a calm head no matter what the day throws at you. Because it's like yesterday when I was doing the end of the month figures and the photocopier decided to swallow a paper clip. I didn't panic. I just nipped off down to the local news agents and I commandeered their photocopier for an hour. It's like Ian says, I'm the brains of Davenport, it's not just the face. I must be the voice of streetcars. Yeah, but it's not quite the same, though, is it? Because you're not making decisions of great importance, are you? I mean, you're just a wage slave, really, at the end of the day, aren't you? Talking about the rest of us. Hey, he doesn't seem bothered, does he? That he's upset his girlfriend. I thought he said your Steve was stopping in tonight. Must have changed his mind. Or had it changed for him? White wine, please, Steve. I'll buy you a drink, but I'm not spending all the evening with you. <laughs> so funny. The papers were full of them today. <laughs> Bill Nicholson, Ronald Reagan, Marlon Brando, <laughs> Faye Ray. Oh, remember, she was in King Kong. Mind you, she was well into her 90s. <laughs> Esther Lauder. All right, Norris, no need to make a list. And there's 11 out of the delivery booth. It's a shame about Mrs. Leathers. You know, we didn't find her for well over a week and we delivered two copies of The People's Friend. <laughs> we didn't chase pain, though. It's the same at church. Well, it will be, won't it? We're all getting old. Oh, peace to Houston off. Actually, I, I've just got to go and see Gail, if you don't <laughs> Happy now? Well, Making a list of people who died. It's the anniversary of Alf's death. Oh, dear. Well, how was I to know? Every day is the anniversary of somebody's death. What am I supposed to do? Never talk about dead people. That is the most sensible thing you've said all year. What on earth does she see in you? I have absolutely no idea, mate. Best go check on Shelley, I suppose. Remember, eh? It's like they have to get emotional and hormonal at least once a day to get drummed out of the club. There you are. You silly thing. I was worried about you. I had to go to the bathroom. You're upset. I upset you. I should have thought I just had the dress with me and I bumped into Jason and... I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. It's just... And I saw Violet wearing it, and it's such a beautiful dress, and <laughs> I'd have loved to have been able to get into it. But it's just a dress. It's nothing to get upset about. You know, you worry about things too much, that's your trouble. What would it be your New Year's resolution? Shrug things off more. Mm. Not let them prey on your mind. Hey. Looking forward to 2005. It's our first full year together. <laughs> we'll get a girl together, you and me. I promise you. I'd like that. Come here. But I'm, I'm drinking all right to have some interest. Baby, to me, I've been told if you chew. Chew it off. Oh, it's snuggy. That's disgusting. It's snuggy. Have you ever No, where have you? Yeah. Old. What's it like? So yeah, if you want. No, you're all right. I see Eileen's come. <laughs> well, it's a party with free food. Of course she's gone. I was hoping she'd go and visit him, wherever he is. Pull a pink cracker with him. Mm, don't let it bother you, Mum. Not going to let it bother me. Nothing is going to bother me again after the year I've had. Worst year of my life. No, well, you've come through, my darling. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to, though. Didn't see much point. Bethany! Bethany's the point. Look, bad things happen, terrible things, but life carries on. However we feel, it carries on. For some. I mean, I envy Ashley moving on after Maxine. I think I'll have Richard perched on my shoulder for the rest of my life. Oh, come on, this is supposed to be a party, this. Well, I can't face another year like the last two. Oh, I really can't. Right, now, you two, 
That's enough wallowing. Come on. It's a new year. Don't carry all this through to 2005. New year, new start. Bit of positivity, eh? Oh, get off me, woman! <laughs> None of you! <laughs> hey, I like that. Yeah, you <laughs> right, here we are. Um, you took your time getting it, didn't you, Paula? I knew I should have come and picked you up. Uh, traffic was terrible. I bet he had his radio tuned to one of those boring documentaries all the way. How did you guess? <laughs> Hello, Lo. Who's that? That's Adam. Mike says he's coming to stay. How old is he, do you reckon? I don't know. 16, 17? Look at him kissing Deirdre. I bet he wouldn't disappear the moment his mum's back's turned and on his 18th birthday. Leave off, love. You wouldn't want the lads hanging around all night with us, would you? I wouldn't have minded going with them. It's ages since I've been to a club and I reckon I could show that the ant troll a thing or two. See, that is the trouble with you. Everything's a competition, isn't it? Oh, that's right. Ask me to marry you one minute and criticise me the next. No, do you know, I'll tell you something, Frank. Do you know what I think? I think you're jealous of the ant. Oh, I am, am I? No, and there's no need to be either. I'll tell you for one, she's a two-minute wonder. Any other bird from the hairdressers, you've got to remember something, Frank. You are Warren and Jamie's mum, and no birds are ever going to come along and compete with you. I'm not Jamie's mum, am I? Not proper. Of course you are. Don't be daft. You're more of a mum to him than his real mum ever was. You know what he thinks, so you know what we all think of you. I'll tell you something, I'll tell you what you are, right? You're one of them needles in them sewing machines across the street. No, don't laugh. I'll tell you for why, right? I can push all the buttons and turn all the handles, but without you darting up and down, we're useless. We just cannot cope. And that is why I felt the pieces when you left. I'm meant to be looking forward. Not back. Oh. Here. Thank you, my sweet. I've had enough of this fetch me carry me routine. How long did Doctor say you had to rest your foot? Oh, uh... Weeks. Weeks! Oh, I could have been a dancing queen tonight. Young and sweet, only 17. You've already three. I'm 39! Well, well, you're better off without her. I wish I could get over there, leave me, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, right. You be lost there, are you, Avira? You belong together. I used to think me and Karen belong together. I was like that with my first wife, Myrtle, before she changed. They all changed. Aye. Aye, into the mothers. <laughs> Karen's mother was a religious <laughs> nut. Vera's mother was an ugly old bag. <laughs> She works as Boris Karloff's stunt double when he was doing the Frankenstein films. Didn't need any makeup. Uh, how many years you been married yet? Oh, don't be throwing me questions like that, so I'm not one of had a few. Listen, when was the Munich crash? February 1958. 58, right. It was a few months before that, so it's 47 years. Oh, that's a long time, isn't it? Myrtle and I only lasted 12, and... And Angela, well, the wedding cake didn't have time to go stale. Me and Karen wedded twice. I want money. Uh, I'm like that. To take a very special woman to attract me. <laughs> Don't about special. Strange, maybe. <laughs> a man's not complete without a woman. And there's no one can make him feel a bigger fool than a woman either. I've been bigger fool in these parts since last year gone. Penny King, and there I was, an orchid. Oh, oh, well, well, yes, well, I remember feeling a complete crit, eh? No. no. Devious things, women. Yeah. Devious. It's a pity we need them, really, isn't it? <coughs> no, we should be like worms, you know, able to procreate with ourselves. Well, where's the fun in that? <laughs> You're mad. You're talking rubbish, man. I've had Sally Webster going on and on about her job. Honestly, you'd think she were the first woman who'd ever held down a position and run a home. Has she got rid of all that rubbish in her head, you know, about sending the kid to stage school? Oh, aye, she goes to Oak Hill now, doesn't she? Mm. I see her going out on a morning with that boater on her head. She looks like some out of Vane Blyton. And she won't get any thanks, you know, Sally. 
because they'll put ideas into her head. She'll be going to university and it'll be two fingers to sell her. <laughs> Rosie's not like that. She wouldn't turn her back on her family. It's the other one I feel sorry for. Little Sophie. Slight royalty, isn't it? Air and spare. There'll be no posh school for her. Forever in her sister's shadow. Then one day she'll snap and we'll read about her killing spree in the papers. Do you not mind going on upsetting folk? Chesney? Sophie! You call yourself adults, you want your legs slapping. <laughs> You can't smoke in it. No, this is just habit. Ken doesn't like it. The back room was full of food. So, here I am, back to a wall, fag in hand. <laughs> do you know, if ever they erect a statue to me, that's how they'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm great, yeah. <laughs> Only, I, I don't want to pry, but there was a time when we were going to be family. Mm. And I'd just like to think that if anything's bothering you, I'm a good listener. Well, thanks, Deirdre. What was uh, what was all that about earlier? All that shouting? Oh, well, nothing. Just just a misunderstanding. I got the wrong end of the stick. I know you've probably talked to me, Mum, and uh, I'm sure Liz has poured the poison in. But Charlie, he's not like that. Honestly, he's not. He makes me feel safe. And I need that. We all need that. And Charlie's like a real bloke, and I like that. You know, I was married to a builder once. <laughs> uh, my first husband, Ray, well, he was a plumber, actually. Oh, it was mad being married to him. I never knew where I was from one minute to the next. Well, like me and Charlie. Oh. And the rows we had. Not like living with Ken. He's more sensitive. Ray was more manly, I suppose. I'd have done anything for him. So, what happened? Oh, the usual story. Found out he'd been seeing another woman. I just couldn't look at him in the same way again. I just felt like it had all been a lie. And, well, I just couldn't face that. We were supposed to go to Holland, have a new life. It was only after the leaving party that I realised it was over. So I stayed, he went. You can't forgive that. Not that lie. Telling you that he loves you. And seeing another woman. Oh, Shelley, I'm sorry. I just, I didn't think. Oh, it's all right. Peter Barlow wasn't the only right in the sewer. <laughs> the worst thing is... finding yourself doing it to someone else. Discovering that you can lie, really lie, to someone you thought you'd love forever. Oh, I couldn't do that. Well, I wish I hadn't. There's plenty I regret in my life, but that, the lies, the deceit, the, the pain, I hate myself for that. Shelley, I mean it, you know. If ever you need anyone to talk to, Here, yeah, he's starving. I don't suppose he gets a lot to eat at home. I can't imagine he gets a lot of anything at home. Nothing of him, is there? I suppose his mother does her best. Do you always have to see it best in folk? She's an horrible mother. She leaves him in house on his own. She forgets he exists when it suits her. Do you like them cocktail sausages? Here, have another. This is the best food I've had all year. Oh, it breaks your heart, doesn't it? You know, it shouldn't happen, should it, this day and age? Did you have a nice Christmas, Chesney? Well, it were all right. Only my mum didn't bother getting any food in, so I had to have beans on toast. <gasps> hey, that's criminal. I didn't mind not having sprouts, though. I hate sprouts. Oh, I'm saying the repeat on me some at rotten. <laughs> what about presents? Well, I wanted a bike. Only I shouldn't have said that, because I'm the one. 
don't get. Well, that's true, love. Did you, uh, did you get a bike? No. I didn't want a mountain bike. I won my 50 million gears are out. I just wanted a bike. I wanted to go on the red wreck with it with Michael. I got a chess set instead. Oh. Only no one in our house knows how to play it. And some of the pieces are missing. Well, that's not right. Here, I think I've got a pound in my back. Oh, and I've got two pounds. You get yourself something nice. Oh, yeah. Chesney, don't tell your mum. There you are. And spend it all on yourself, though. Yeah, bless him. <laughs> 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 what was that for? Because I love you. Oh. <laughs> How would you drive with Adam? Oh, it was just so nice to have him to myself and find out what was going on in his world. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what was that for? Because you're you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm really sorry. It's all right. And you? Adam Barlow. I thought so. Haven't you changed? So we're going to school, which is big on rugby, does me. Bashes a kid out. Mm. Would you like another drink? Well, yeah, but uh, I think we'll have to get Violet to serve us because I'm not 18 yet and you're 15. I'm nearly 17. You done that? Violet? Yeah, in a minute. Um, who's next? Cochrane Coke, please, love. I think you find I was next. Have a dry white wine and a Cochrane tonic, please. <laughs> I didn't mean to push in. So, have you um, heard from your Nick? Oh, yes. He's, uh, he's doing fine. He's highly thought of at work. It's good. And you? Have you heard from Todd? Yeah, he's uh, busy with his studies in London. I, I hoped he might visit, but it's probably for the best. <laughs> Look, Gail, what happened wasn't really anything to do with us, was it? I mean. All we were doing was just looking after our kids. And I know things were said. I know I said things because I wanted to protect Todd. None of this is Sarah's fault. She was the victim. Weren't they both victims? I mean, can't we just... Oh, what, forget? Put it all behind us? No, Eileen. Some things can't be forgotten. Not forgotten? That, that's not what I'm saying. Then what are you saying? I don't want to be your enemy, Gail. Uh, that's going to be £4.20. And Eileen, what can I get for you? Vodka can go, please. You're not my enemy. <laughs> you're not my friend, but you're not my enemy. And for what it's worth, I always liked Todd before. Thanks. You will warn us if he decides to visit, won't you? I don't think he'll ever come back. That's 210 then, please. I'll get that. It's not been an easy year for either of us. Um, we've both lost sons. And a grandson. We can't forget what's happened to that time. Here's to our grandson. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, they fall for every time. Yes. Hey, guys, another pint, well, you know. I'm going to laugh. Well, on your way back, then. Hey, and I'll need a hand in that direction myself in a bit. I'm not taking you to Jens. Chef will help you. Do I have to?
This way. For the funny ear, ain't it? Oh, hysterical! After you dragged me through the courts trying to take me for every penny I have. Oh, some people hold long grudges. Can't say goodbye to 2004. Goodbye, 2004. Uh -huh. Thank <laughs> you.